we drove down from Truckee last night and we're here at San Onofre. Uh, this section of the beach is called Dog Patch and uh, it's where all the alternative crafts are allowed to go, the stand-up paddles, kayaks, and then of course the wave speeds, which uh, is what we're riding. We're going to progress people up through a, just a really nice linear progression of uh, catching waves and learning how to get on and off the board and in and out of the water and uh, after three days we're going to have a pretty comprehensive uh, taste of what adaptive surfing is today, so it's pretty exciting. I've always thought since my injury, like, will I ever get to surf? Because I knew I couldn't stand up, I knew my feet wouldn't have the power inside of them to, to maneuver a surfboard. And John Davis, when he showed me this sport, I was like, we've, we've got to do this. Surfing before my accident was always something I really wanted to do. So when I, my accident happened, I thought that was something I couldn't do, but I'm here right now learning how to surf. I didn't, certainly didn't think I'd be adaptive surfing, and we're with some of the best guys in the country, and it's, it's pretty cool. So to get me into the water, I transfer onto a surfboard and then they hook up two mountain bike tires to the surfboard and two able-bodied people drag me down to the water. It's a little bit of a process. A lot of times we don't have people on shore that are very good at it, so we've taken a couple headers right onto the beach, so that's been fun. Yeah, I think the most scariest part is actually getting in and out of the water. It's never an easy moment. I saw Roy take a beat down today. Hey, if you paddle out the wrong time, regroup, paddle back out again when it's the right time. and. Uh, um, it's never going to be easy, I'm not going to lie. You know, I was amazed Monday when I came down here and saw these kids charging out in the water, no regard for anything, not, never been surfing before, I'm like, yeah, that's it. I think probably my highlight of the trip was Danny Tumor King's crush session. He was going to get some GoPro footage out on a stand-up paddle board in a pretty big set and was repeatedly eating crap. It's easy, you know how it's done. You can't stop now, it's already begun. You feel it, but it do you There's something about the ocean that just it heals you, and uh, for us to be in the ocean, there's just nothing, uh, nothing greater than, than feeling that healing and uh, you know knowing everything's going to be all right. It's such a way for adaptive athletes to get right in there with able-bodied athletes. I mean, we've been out there with so many of our friends surfing, and that's something that we just can't do on the daily reg. We can't go for a hike, per se, but we can come out here and go surfing, and this is something that we need to expand our program services. So yes, has been a super success. We're gonna come back and we're gonna have it way more dialed next time and open it up to more athletes.